Welcome back to Daggerfall. I think it's time we get on with the main quest, but first, there's a little something I want to show off. I'm going to show Daggerfall's most infamous trick. First of all, I'm going to set a teleport anchor. I just love that text mod. And then we are going to travel to a place most players are probably familiar with, the Rusty Ogre Lodge. Now, I don't know if this is a bug, or just an inconsistency, or a victim of the random generator or whatever, but this one specific lodge in the game... What even is a lodge? This one specific village in the game has a tavern with the most insane thing ever. So we're gonna go inside this little tavern. As soon as I find the door. We're gonna go up the stairs. And up the stairs we'll find a bunch of little drawers with private property in them. So of course we're gonna take them. Oh, should equip that. And after you take enough things, yeah, you're gonna hear that. It should be music to your ears, I'm telling you. So, why would I just steal all of the items, and more importantly, how does anyone know I've stolen them? There's nobody on this floor with me. <laughs> but whatever. Why would I steal all of this? Well, I'll tell you. Because for some reason, if you take all of these things, and then save the game, and then immediately load that same save, all the items respawn. But not only do all the items respawn, there is a good chance that Daedric weapons will come out of those drawers when all the items respawn. That's right, Daedric weapons, aka the strongest weapons in the game, aka weapons that, if I'm right, have, were forged in Oblivion itself, and are wielded by the demonic forces of the Daedric Princes? <laughs> and you just- and you can just get as many as you want from these drawers here in the Rusty Ogre Lodge. I don't get it. I don't get it one bit. I don't know why this is possible, but you can get the strongest weapons in the game, including the best long blade in the game, the Daedric Dike Katana, if you are extremely lucky. So you can just keep saving, reloading, saving, reloading, taking all the items, and all through this time you might be wondering if the guards are ever going to come up here and arrest me. Well, they can't! They can't! Because guess what? They can't get up the stairs! They can't get up the stairs. And you know what the best part is? As soon as I'm done filling my entire wagon with Daedric weapons, I can just teleport out of here. I can just do this. And I'm out! Oh, hey, a letter. So you know what? You know what, though? Like, I don't have time to show you me filling my entire wagon with Daedric weapons, so let's load the save where I did this. Because I made this save in advance. We're gonna teleport out, and at some point we should get that message about the letter. That's the main quest starting up. The main quest starts up with you getting a letter from someone. So let's ask for the nearest general store. Uh... Oh jeez. This NPC is being a, a little, um, incooperative. Where am I? Oh, I'm in Gothway Garden from the beginning of the game. So let's just go west. To the nearest general store we can find and sell all of the goods I have gotten, and you will see how, how long I spent. I spent about 15 minutes filling the entire wagon in order to make this save. And there's the letter again. But we're not going to bother with that quite yet. Let's go ahead and check the map one more time. And there's a convenient bank nearby too. We're going to learn rather quickly what the banks are for. This game has banks, and they're for more than just storing your gold. You might wonder why you would even want to bother storing your gold. There's a reason for that. This is the good place. To get the best prices, you want to find the store with the cheapest quality of items. So let's go ahead and go to our wagon and just sell it all. At a general store, you can sell all of the random junk items that you find, and you can sell regular weapons, but you can't sell armor. 
but look at the price I'm getting. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing the price I'm getting for all of this junk? Daedric weapons are just worth so much to the game. In fact, I have a Daedric Daikatana, which I'm going to keep. It doesn't say how much it's worth. But I'm going to keep that Daedric Daikatana because it's kind of the strongest weapon in the game. It doesn't say how much the weapons are worth, but I guarantee you they are worth a lot. Look at the amount of money I'm making! This is just insane! I haven't even gotten through all of the items in here yet. I have no idea why it is possible to do this. Is that everything that the... Is that everything that the store is willing to take? That's all of it? Okay, that's all of it. Put it all together and we have very close to 1 million gold at the very beginning of the game for just doing that trick with all of the stuff that you're allowed to steal from that one lodge in the game. And the funny thing is... See, money weighs in Daggerfall. Like, 100 gold is about one-tenth of a kilogram in your inventory. They take up inventory space. So no way could I have carried a million gold, like what, a sack of a million gold. So what we got instead of gold was a letter of credit with a million gold. And the, and the bank is not close by. Well, it's not that far away, excuse me. So we're going to go to a bank. This is a... This is another general store, I think. Yeah. It's just a little bit to the west here will be the bank. Now, banks do more than store your gold. They also let you... That is a very strange door texture. <laughs> banks not only let you store gold, you can purchase uh, player homes multiple player homes in fact you can purchase ships you can purchase your own ship which is not something that you see in nearly any other um, Elder Scrolls game they must not be open yet when are they open from 8 to 15 okay we'll just loiter around for a couple more hours you can purchase your own ship and that's another that is just amazing in and of itself and you can also take out loans in banks Gotta change the interaction mode. So we will deposit all our, our letters of credit. Now, each bank, each region's bank is independent. So if I deposit all of my gold in Daggerfall, there's no way I could I could withdraw it in Wayrest, for instance. Which is a region on the other side of the Iliac Bay. So... Yeah, this town isn't next to the ocean, so I have to find a town next to the ocean to buy a ship. So I will get to that eventually. But you can take out loans, and if you don't pay them back eventually with interest, then the guards come after you while you're in that region. But you, what you can do is you can take out a loan in some region you don't care about that isn't related to the main plot, and then just, um, you know, never pay it back. Who cares if you go back to region, to that region? All the regions are the same. Anyhow, uh, we got um, a letter that is related to the main quest, so I'm going to read that. So this is a message from somebody who works for the Emperor's Secret Service, which is called the Blades. We are going to meet her in a certain tavern, in a certain town in the region of Daggerfall. Woe betide anyone who travels to Wayrest at the beginning of the game just because they can, because then they get this letter and think, Oh no, I'm never going to make it back in time. This too, it takes too much time to travel all that way. <laughs> uh, of course you can miss this meeting completely. And it won't matter. There are certain quests in the main quest that don't, uh, that aren't required. There's some optional stuff there. But if you fail or, or even reject, because you can reject the main quest. You can actually reject the main quest. But if you fail or reject something important, then... I just wanted the info, jeez. So we'll talk to her. If you fail or reject some of the important main quests, then the main quest becomes completely unwinnable. I have no idea why they allow you to do this, considering that they constructed that big, giant intro with the live action and everything, all for the player to just say no, and then never be able to do it again, but I suppose it's a choice you can make. Failing is a choice you can make. So, Lady Brisiana here tells us that 
King Lysandas is haunting the capital city at night and will occasionally moan the word vengeance. There's a voice clip for this. It is so epic that you've got to hear it at least once. So we'll make sure to do that at some point. So she suggests investigating the royal families of the Iliac Bay and the major powers, Sentinel, Wayrest, and Daggerfall, will be where we eventually go for some of the main quests. And as for the letter... Uh, she has no idea what happened to it, so we'll have to investigate that on our own, too. So, that was that was good. We at least got a start to the main quest. Of course, the main quest has a bunch of level requirements anyways, so we have to level up a little bit to, like, um, get through the main quest. So we're gonna travel to the capital city and check out, uh, Spooky Ghost King. Elder Scrolls really likes its spooky ghosts now that I think about it. I'm going to travel recklessly. The difference between cautiously and recklessly is that recklessly um, will not give you the courtesy of restoring your health along the way. And you have no idea when you're going to arrive, so you could show up at night. This is not night. So we'll have to make it night. And the only way to do that is to go to a tavern, rent a room, and get comfy. Also, Daggerfall is a port city, so we could purchase a ship, and in fact, I think I will do that. Where is the bartender? Is that you? No, you're not the bartender. Don't taverns have... oh. There you are, I knew you were there all along. Okay. So, it is 10 at the moment. We will rest... Uh, let's just go until fully healed. A little bit longer. And now we'll go outside. I hear it! There it is. Did you hear it? Say it again. What? Huh? But I didn't... My only illness is my obsession with a video game. Yes, that's very true. <sighs> oh, bats? Did I hit it? Okay, there we go. Let's, uh... Let's just get back in the tavern and sleep. Why do I get the feeling I'm going crazy? Okay, I think it's daytime now. The bank opens in two hours. That was a nice nap, yes. Let's get out of here. We are gonna head to the bank because I want to show how the ships work. It's actually pretty funny. Of course, the bank is kind of far away. Dag the capital city of Daggerfall is very, very big. Look at how big this is. Towns in Daggerfall are realistically big, which means that traveling across them takes a bit of time. It's rather unfortunate, so I might speed this part up. Alright, the bank. So, we are going to go to the bank, and we are going to purchase a ship. There are two ships, a small one and a large one. I'm just gonna buy the small one. Uh, that costed 100,000 gold, and what do you get for your 100,000 gold? You can teleport to your ship at any time! You can just teleport to it, so if you ever want to escape enemies or guards, just teleport to your ship. You can pretty much do that while you're anywhere outdoors, I believe. So, the open sea. Now, I gotta give credit to Daggerfall. This is the only Elder Scrolls game that lets you actually own your own ships. Multiple houses, horses, wagons, just anything. Just a, a, a lot of things. 
You can even store your items inside, but I have a wagon, so that's really not an issue. Also, this uh, the ships in Daggerfall have the most amusing thing ever. So, you can uh, bash door doors down if they're locked, and if you do that in a town, obviously the guards are going to come after you. This door can be bashed, and if you do it... Um, if you do it... Oh, oh. Guards! Oh. Can you believe oh. this? Can you believe this? Look at this. I bashed the door in the ship that I own, that is out on the open seas. It, it is my ship. It is my door. I bash it, and the guards come to arrest me? Where do they come from? I am out on the open seas. Look where it says I am. High Rock Sea Coast. My ship. And I have legal reputation out here. See, that's the thing about uh, guards, too. You don't get a bounty like in the later Elder Scrolls games when you commit a crime. If the guards manage to strike you just once when they come out to arrest you, that then your legal reputation goes down, even if you submit to them. It's... <laughs> and if you do submit to them, you actually get sent to court and are put on trial, which is also interesting. But... Like... Oh my goodness. But... You, you can see how easy it is to evade guards. All you have to do is teleport to your ship. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just... What is going on here? <laughs> but we still have, uh, like, 900,000 gold left, so... Uh... Oh, we have to withdraw it, actually. We have to withdraw it, because we're going to be doing some traveling, so it would be nice to have all of that money. As soon as I remember which direction the bank is, there it is. Like, I have dagger... Like, I have the location of this mage's guild uh, totally, totally memorized at this point. Just because I've been to it so many times. When I play this game, it's either Gothway Garden or, um... The, the capital city that I... Gosh darn it. When do they open? There we go. Okay, let's get a quest. Um, yeah. There are certain quests in this game that will require certain spells, but it only wants the default spells. If you spell make your own open spell, it won't work for this quest, so I am not going to do it. You can reject these quests as many times as you want. Um, I don't want this one either. You can reject these quests for no penalty. Let's see. This one looks fine, it's just a fetch quest. Lamford Hamlet. Alright, let's go. Oh, it's nighttime. That was probably a mistake. Because the I need the NPCs in order to tell me which place to go to. In fact, enemies are nearby. What? Oh, yeah. They did mention necromancers would be after me, didn't they? Where are they? Where are the enemies? There they are. Oh, look, a magic item. Uh, I'll just take all of his things. Now, was that the only one? Yes, it was. So I accidentally traveled recklessly, but fortunately you can travel cautiously. And boom, all the benefits of traveling cautiously, except you traveled recklessly. So that means you took only the time to travel recklessly. And, um... So now we question the NPCs for the location that the target is staying at. And apparently these NPCs don't know nothing. Are you sure you don't know? 
Gee. There's three NPCs that don't know. Shouldn't someone know? Oh well, if we ask around eventually, someone's gotta know where it is and someone's gotta respond positively to my presence. Politely, perhaps? Uh... Maybe this guy over here? I go indoors, but indoor NPCs never want to give directions. Jeez, this is so bad. This is some bad luck right here. Okay, this guy. <laughs> okay, I've got to be doing something wrong. Oh, you know what I'm doing wrong? I'm asking for the person and not... Oh, he just gave it to me. Okay. Up to the north a little bit. I, I get the feeling it would have been faster to just search all the houses. Nah, that's probably a lie. This looks like the one. Is this the one? I think it's the right place, but it's locked. Oh well, throw caution to the wind. <sighs> Here's the bally thing. Okay. I'll get past those necromancers the way I know how. Teleport! Oh, and of course we have more loitering to do. They open at 11 a.m., so here's all of the loitering that we have to do. Loiter a little more. Ah. Those necromancers were not too difficult because I evaded them completely. Money. Pitiful amount of money, but I suppose that quest was very easy. Who identifies the magic items around here? That would be you. Let's see what we got. 200 knee gold. A long shirt of paralysis, which paralyzes things when you cast people with it. That's pretty f When you cast it at people, excuse me. That is actually pretty nice. I guess I'll practice spells for a little bit until morning. Ah, oh, here we are! Level 3 at last! Okay. So I'll put some points in strength, and I think the rest can go to intelligence? Sounds good to me. Look at us, we're up to 100 health already because of all of those extra points in hit points that we got. Alright, so we're level 3 now, which means it's time to finally start on the main quests. There's a short one that we can do right now, because as you know, we, ha uh, we have to go to all three of the places in the Iliac Bay. Daggerfall, Wayrest, and Sentinel. Uh, so should we start in Wayrest or Daggerfall? Well, we're going to need to go to Wayrest eventually, so it's probably a good idea to start there. Save before we do. Off to Wayrest.
And eventually we should get a letter inviting us to start on the main quest. Or maybe we can um, just skip the letter part? I don't actually know if we can skip the letter part. Because the letter just really just lets you know that you're ready for the for the quest that's starting. Alright, there it is, the Palace of Wayrest. Doesn't look very palacey, but I'll take it. So Wayrest is a bit of a weird place. Right inside the palace, well, for some reason all of the palaces count as dungeons. So they have that dungeon entrance, which makes no sense. And then there's this kid. When you click him, it just makes that weird noise, and I have absolutely no idea why it does that. Alright, so... So Wayrest is a pretty interesting place. This is King Edwire of Wayrest, and this is his wife, Queen Baron Zaya. Baron Zaya is a very interesting character, because, you know, she she is very prevalent in the lore of the Elder Scrolls, and she was basically working behind the scenes in Arena, well, retroactively anyways. This is her daughter, Morgaya. She's who we're talking to. And she tells us that she wants us to deliver a letter to a necromancer far south in the Dragontail Mountains. She says, avoid the rift. If you see it, you have gone too far. I have no idea what she's talking about. I don't know what this rift is. Anyhow, she wants a response in uh, less than a month. I say we could probably handle it in half a month, seeing as we can just go all the way down there and then teleport back. Um, the interesting thing about Baron Zaya and her family is uh, they're supposed to be Dark Elves, but in the original version of the game they did not have the grayish-greenish skin that all Dark Elves normally have. So, like, I think it was either an official patch or a fan patch that changed their character textures and portraits to give them the gray skin that Dark Elves have. So we are traveling to the Dragontail Mountains. The place is called Scourge Barrow. If um, This is a neat little quest because I believe that when a starting player gets this quest and they just travel cautiously between Scourge Barrow and Wayrest the first time, they're probably not going to make it back to Wayrest in the amount of time that they were allotted. So that's kind of a introduction to how you can travel recklessly because Scourge Barrow is a dungeon and it's kind of an annoying one so in this first room it looks like there's just a bunch of coffins but what's really cool about it is if you open this coffin there's actually a pathway passage down into the catacombs below which is really interesting nice secret necromancer place so we're gonna use levitate to levitate down I think if you didn't have levity, you would have to jump, which is probably not good because you take fall damage, but you could just heal it back. Now comes the annoying part. There are a couple of zombies in this room. Zombies are way tougher than a regular level 3 character could ever expect to fight, but of course we're just so completely overpowered and have a ton of health, so that was not difficult at all. And of course we have an overpowered weapon. But believe me when I say that those zombies have killed me a couple of times playing the game normally. Now let's see if I remember the path to the necromancer that we're supposed to talk to. There are a couple more enemies, like bats and stuff along the way. I, I think if you see a skeleton, then you're going the wrong way. And you kind of have to bash the door open. And I like the atmosphere in this room. There are a bunch of weird-looking NPCs. There are actually vampires, I think, and ancient liches, which are the mo the strongest enemies in the game, but they're not hostile. And this is the guy you're supposed to talk to. This guy is called the King of Worms. Um, there's going to be a weird plot thing if you play Elder Scrolls IV involving the King of Worms, but I'll save that. So we gave him the message. I should have read the message, but basically... The message uh, says that Morgaya is asking the King of Worms to guarantee her 
a uh, the throne of a place called First Hole, which is in the Somerset Isles. I have no idea why Morgaya wants to be the queen of a high elf country when she's a dark elf, but whatever. And she's trading something called her first, which I think means her firstborn, but I've been told that it's not supposed to be. But anyway, this will be, never be mentioned ever again, so whatever. Alright, so the letter we, you seek is in the hands of Gortwog, the warlord of the orcs. Huh, the orcs, huh? And they bought it from the Thieves' Guild of Daggerfall after one of their numbers stole it from the Queen of Daggerfall. Alright, so that's where the letter is. Now you'd think we could just go and get it from Gortwog because we know where his uh, fortress is. But no, you have to actually figure out why the letter was delivered to... Apparently delivered to the wrong person. Oh yeah, and this is a bit of a token of her appreciation for helping her. So that's nice. So yeah, there are a couple more quests we can do with the way rest, and then we will uh, go someplace else, I suppose. What the? <laughs> it teleported me to the entrance of way rest. Uh, well, that's funny. I forgot that could happen. If you teleport into the palace, and then exit that palace, you just get warped to the entrance to way rest instead of the entrance to the palace. I don't know what's going on! I don't know what's going on! I'll be back.